All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Doctor Stone episode nineteen. Uh, really excited for this episode. I can't really remember what happened in the last episode. It feels like a long time ago, even though it was just last week. But um, oh, it was to do with the uh, the the fake guns and the attack by Hyoga. Uh, so this episode is probably going to be preparation for the war. I assume. I think. Um, I haven't watched the YouTube preview this week, so, um, yeah, let's get right into it. Also, my vo my voice is really croaky, so I never get sick, but it's, like, literally from, like, one degrees outside, like, degrees, not Fahrenheit, so, it's fucking cold, and my voice can't take it, so I'm just gonna, <sighs> let's get right into it. That's really loud. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's a castle. It was a caveman. And uh, again. Oh, was this revive him reviving Hyoga? wrong with Gen's face? Straight to the point. Doesn't mean he's not a badass. Let's fucking brain them. Brain them. Absolutely fucking destroy them here, okay? He looks like he has absolute control over the situation. I forgot what he was. So what is he in pr in present day that requires him to be so skilled with a spear? Or a spear-like object? <laughs> You'd be right. Whoa. How do they make bridges already? Who made bridges? Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's awesome. All these, like, animals and stuff that aren't even afraid of humans, because they haven't been for, like, 3,700 years. So, like, in their instincts, they just don't know to run, kind of. Yet. He's a good leader, he's just 
you know, half and half a psychopath. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck no. Hmm. They'd use this opportunity to take as much land as they can as well, not just the land they had before. What is wrong with your face, Ken? I suppose. Well. Well. I don't know about that one. he wanted to revive the old world and revive everybody in it doesn't mean he wanted to make it go exactly as it did before like yes he wants to rebuild civilization and science and never forget anything or hit our history or anything like that doesn't mean he's gonna let it go the same way with like wars and shit like this is obviously a chance for humanity to be humanity to restart and group up as one but I've lost my train of thought. But uh, the, you're not going about it the right way, Sukasha. Yeah. That was a really long uh, interval before the intro, I believe. Yeah, it was like six minutes. <coughs> I don't remember. Th uh, don't it just ignore me when I said I don't remember that being that in the manga because chances are it was. <laughs> So basically now, uh, from the results of last episode, Gen, <coughs> oh my god, I'm lying, is on the is fully on the side of uh, Kingdom of Science. I mean, he already was, but now he's like, there's no going back to the Sukasa Empire. So. His his life as a double agent a double agent is over. This is where it gets fun. Oh shit. I'm gonna have a munch. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I fucked up last up. To modern modernity. <laughs> modernity. We did it, he says, while being like this far away from Hayoga. <laughs> you fucking drunk. You need to back off. Oh. Oh. How'd they do that? They shoot archers or something. <clears throat> oh, this bitch. Alright. I know I've said it before, but I seriously don't remember this part in the manga. <laughs> <clears throat> Hmm. 
Ooh, he's like a survivalist. Gymnastics. Hey, come on, little old people. We've got to go. <coughs> there's so many things I, so many little things I, I keep catching haven't read the manga that I just I can't talk about <laughs> Come on, Suka. <laughs> nice distraction, Suka. To these dumb cavemen. I think in the last episode when um, Hyoga said that these cavemen or whatever like that, and I was like, you guys are more cavemen than them. I kind of forgot that the Kingdom of Science aren't actually cavemen. <laughs> they just, they're just, um, kind of, what's the word? I don't know, just old in the, how they do life, I guess. Because, you know, that's how they brought, brought up. They're not at modern civilization level yet. But they're not actually cavemen. They're more slightly more evolved than present people like senku and whatnot not by much it's only three thousand years but senku's the caveman <laughs> to them <laughs> so yeah i was wrong about that what's going on <laughs> <laughs> how is she faster than these guys Oh shit. Poisonous gas. Does she know about that? Oh fuck. Sika run. Sika run. She doesn't know about it. She doesn't know about it. Yeah. Oh my god. Gas mask. <clears throat> mm. Can these. I don't think they can see the gas. Bye bye. Oh. God damn, Sanku, you fucking fearless, man. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah, they can just walk away. Nice. <coughs> so I don't get it. Could they see that gas? Was it that thick? It's coming. Oh. Yeah, okay, so they can't see the gas. Wow, that's a cool shot. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Buildings are just buildings. Yeah. A job seeker. Ooh. <coughs> Pure strength and no fucking brains, though. Jesus Christ. What's this? Some kind of mel? Maybe Senku can teach them how to make the buildings more efficiently. <laughs> With like mortar and stuff. Or do they already know that maybe? <laughs> mm. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even know. They don't really sure what guns are yet. They Senko just keeps saying guns. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No. <clears throat> Mm. Not like right now, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thinking about the last, the last thing they made was a fucking. Samurai sword. Oh my god, imagine. Eventually. <laughs> Gen's gonna be like, what? Don't doubt Senku. How does that sound like a fish? 
cellular cell phone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Commando again. <laughs> God. He's already got two all the way over there. Yes. Yes. Taiji and Yuzi, you know. Plan this from the beginning. He's gonna be like, yeah, he was the he was the one who wanted smartphones. <laughs> oh. Now he's gonna get one. <laughs> Who's this kid? He's a little artist or something. Yeah, right. Well, that's still, you know, that's fucking crazy in this world. <clears throat> this is probably going to take more work. Oh, it's a big robot. Oh, he looks like scared about that. Oh, <laughs> nice. I was thinking he was either going to be like happy that he was alive. Maybe not, but like, you know, have a sense of relief in a sense. Like, because I think he did find, he did, he was close to him. Um, Actually, one sec, I'll just, we'll see what's at the end of the intro, or the outro. The age of energy. Energy. Okay. So yeah, as I was previously just previously just saying, then um, I thought Sukasa was even going to be somewhat happy, not happy. Like he his plan comes before like like anything else, but like happy in a sense. Like he, I think he did he was partially friends with Senku. You know, for saving him and like for being like for being an intelligent person, I think Sukasa, uh, um, Sukasa, like what's the word? Respected that. Um, I, I thought he was he was gonna be like disappointed, but like shock doesn't really come to mind when you think of mo emotions that come from Sukasa. So, I, f I would have thought he'd at least have it in his head that there's a possibility that he could still be alive. Or he knows that because that's why he sent Gen in that in the first place. But he was like, com he looks he completely shocked and almost scared when he realized, when he was told that, like, that he is still alive. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was pretty cool to see from, to, from on, on the Sukasa side. <coughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, anyway guys. I hope, you, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I certainly did enjoy this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.